Welcome to My Off-Grid Adventures. I'm Frank and I'm glad you're here with me today. We're going to do something together for the very first time that I've not done and that is to charge my Tesla with the new EcoFlow Delta Pro that I purchased about two weeks ago. I bought this partly because it had this functionality. I'd watched a number of other YouTube videos where people successfully charged their Teslas with one of these. And since it's been around for about three years, it's had a lot of opportunities to experience various failures and, and learnings for those who've done it. So I hadn't seen any major warnings, so I'm going to proceed with charging my Tesla. I purchased this from Costco for one main reason, and that is that they have such an excellent return policy. I had an EcoFlow Delta Mini. It was the very first solar generator that I had on our off-grid property and it broke after a few months of use and they took it back without any question. To replace it I ended up buying an Anchor Powerhouse 767. The first unit that came was broken out of the box. They sent a replacement and then it broke in the same fashion after about a year's use but it was the same thing that happened. So I didn't want to try that a third time so I went to this because it seemed to be a trusted and tested unit so that's the only real reason i bought this from costco is because of their return policy they were cheaper and they even threw in a couple other things in their bundle like this x stream adapter and when i saw this because it was called an ev bundle i thought that it meant this would plug into the tesla and let you charge it more quickly than through the uh, 30 amp port that's on the front of this but it actually doesn't have anything to do with charging your tesla it's about charging the battery bank with a tesla charger or an ev charging station somewhere so i'm not sure that i'm going to get any use out of that because i leave this at my off-grid property and it's not something i'm going to be traveling with necessarily though if it does what i'm hoping it does and charges this efficiently and quickly there might be a time where to avoid some range anxiety, we just put this in the trunk and it gives us at least enough to get to the next charging station. Well, that's the hope at least. So let me show you a couple of things that you have to have to make this work. Uh, things that don't come with the Tesla and that don't come with the EcoFlow battery that you're going to need if you're going to do this yourself. The only extra thing that you're going to need for the EcoFlow Delta Pro is this little ground plug that basically fakes the system, fakes this and the Tesla into thinking that the source of power is grounded. So you just put this in any of your regular um, plugs on the front and then you're good to go. Now in the past, Teslas came with this mobile charger uh, as a part of the Tesla purchase. It doesn't anymore. But even if you purchase this from Tesla separately, it doesn't come with this. I had to buy this separate because this is what will fit the plug, the 30 amp plug on the front of this EcoFlow Delta Pro. So you, you could either buy this that plugs right into the charger or you could get an adapter that does come into the 30 amp plug that comes with the kit, with the mobile charging kit. So whichever one you want to do, but I just wanted to avoid any extra pieces. So. I purchased this and I'll put a link to it as to where I bought it. I can't remember what I paid, but we'll put that on the screen too. I'm not only doing this for demonstration purposes today. I also just feel like I need to add a little power to the Tesla. It has 50%. It wanted to have a say in this video too. Uh, by the way, her name is Electra. We like to name everything we have after superheroes. Uh, everything we can at least uh, but anyway this will uh, this will likely get me to my next destination but, but it's projecting that i'll be around 20 percent when i arrive and you never know about traffic or detours or anything that could cause you to have to have a longer trip so i don't like it when i have to be 20 percent. so i'd like to get it uh, at least maybe 10 percent higher than it is now I've never done this, I've never used this, so we're gonna figure this out together. The uh, plugs here clearly only have one way that they connect. 
we'll just connect that to the 30 amp plug. Then we'll turn the AC on. My EcoFlow is currently at 100% and it is lit here in green. So that means it's ready. Let's see if the Tesla thinks that this is safe. If it thinks it's safe, the T there will turn green. And it did. Let's take a look at how much it's taking in power. I just heard the fan kick on in the EcoFlow. So far, so good. You can, if you can see, that is green there, and it's moving, indicating that energy is flowing through it. And it is taking 2,800 watts, almost 2,900 watts. I did see some of the videos saying that you should change the Tesla settings so that it takes in just 24 amps. I didn't do that. Maybe I should have, but let's see what it looks like inside the Tesla. Looks like it already is at 24 amps. So maybe it knows that and adjusts automatically. I don't know. Uh, 16 hours and 10 minutes to get that up to 80% from 50. And I don't think that the EcoFlow Delta Pro will last that long. But even if I can get this up to 55 or 60%, that would give me a little more peace of mind about my next trip. Number is changing pretty quick now. It says yeah, it's going down. It just went from over 11 hours. Now it says 10 hours, 55 minutes. Now 50. Yeah, now it says 10 hours and 15 minutes. So I don't know if the EcoFlow is kicking it into higher gear, but it, it isn't going to take as long as it initially projected. As you can see, it is 10:17 a.m. So let's come back in maybe 15 minutes and see how much, uh, how many more percentage points of power we have at that time. Before we do that, let's check one more time to see what the EcoFlow Pro, Delta Pro says. So it's already to 93%, still sending almost 2,900 watts through to the Tesla. And it says it, it has one hour that it will do this before being drained. So, so far, no issues with the aftermarket plug or the trick of the ground plug. It's still sending out about 2,900 watts of power. It's down to 72% and it says it has 50 minutes left, which is pretty much what we expected based on the pace that it claimed to have before. And in 15 minutes, we got one more percent. Hmm disappointing. That means in an hour we might have about four. Could we even hope for five? Let's just drain it, I guess. We'll let it go all the way through, let it run an hour, and then we'll see how much charge we have. At least it's working. I mean, that 1% gave me a little more range. Not enough to be worth the hassle of all this, and certainly not something that you can do on the side of the road if you run out of battery. Uh, it's not like an emergency thing that can get you back up and running within minutes, like jump starting your car with one of those very convenient little battery powered lithium jump starters. So with about 50 minutes, I'm trying to think of what I can be productive in doing during that time. I do need to change the oil in one of my quads think I can do that in under an hour. I don't do those very often, so I'm not very quick at it, but I think that'd be a good use of my time right now. It's something that's on my mind. So I'll tackle that and then we'll get back and check this in hopefully right around 50 minutes. I think that means it's about time to check the status of charging our Tesla with the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Let's go check it out. Three percent still sending out 
about 2,900 watts. I'm going to turn it off. Now let's see what the Tesla says inside. What do you think? I'm a little dirty now from being on the ground, changing the oil in my Honda. 54%. So we added 4%. And that's a bit more range. So, what did I learn? I think I learned that this will get you out of a pinch, get you a few miles further. But I don't know if it's a solution worthy of putting the EcoFlow Delta Pro in your trunk and expecting to have it save you in a bad situation. Range anxiety is a real thing with Teslas. And it's just a limitation of it. We have a Honda Pilot that we use when we don't want to face any range anxiety. And until there are more superchargers, sorry for the noise of my four-wheeler running in the background. I'm supposed to let it run a couple minutes to, before I check the dipstick to see if the oil change went well. I'll shut the door. It's a little better. But in Michigan, especially the entire central part of Michigan, there aren't any superchargers. So we need some here. Uh, we'll hope that they'll start um, be being more popular in this area. But right now, it's a bit of a challenge. I think a slower charge from a solar setup where you leave it for a full day or so could get you back to where you need to be. but. This definitely isn't a super big solution to the problem of off-grid use of a Tesla. At least now we know, so that's a good thing. And I am glad to have this just to even add 4%. I'm, I am grateful for that. And if I were to recharge the EcoFlow Delta Pro, maybe I could get another four. And it only took an hour, which isn't terrible. So I think it, it, it is something that will keep me from being too anxious about having the Tesla here at our off-grid property. Well, I hope this video was informative. If you'd like to see the other videos about my Starlink system or living off-grid in Michigan in an RV, please subscribe. We'd love to have you join us. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.